Jesus. All right, other saints preached that the day was not far distant when Joseph and Hiram would be with this people. And that's talking about the Mormon Reformation by Paul H. Peterson, page 44. Let's see here. Brigham Young and Heber C. Kimball will finish their work. You will be blessed and will see the day when the Presidents Young, Kimball, and Wells and the Twelve Apostles will be in Jackson County, Missouri, laying out your inheritances in the flesh. Of course, we should look well without being in the flesh. We shall be there in the flesh, and all our enemies cannot prevent it. Brother Wells, you may write that. So this is Brigham Young. You will be there in Will Willard will be there, and also Jedediah, and Joseph, and Hiram, and David, and Parley, and the day will be when I will see those men in general assembly of the Church of the Firstborn in the great councils, council of God in Jerusalem too. Will we want you to be along? I heard Joseph say twice that Brother Brigham, Brigham and I should be in that council in Jerusalem when there should be a uniting of the two divisions of God's government. Interesting. So the kingdom of God and the church of God. Journal of Discourses, volume 9, page 27. Heber C. Kimball talking about Brigham Young and himself with others. So that was Heber C. Kimball. I'm sorry. All right. So that's the end of chapter 16. When we come back... Um, We'll be in chapter 17, Joseph, and some thought-provoking possibilities. So, the early brethren of the church believed that Joseph Smith would return in the flesh upon the face of the earth. And um, I think there can be a place for this. Now, I haven't been revealed that for sure. All that I know is that God revealed to me that... Um, that when a new heaven and a new earth is created after the resurrection, that we will have the opportunity to put off our resurrection and go on a new earth in a new mortal probation that we may gain a higher resurrection. And that as long as we remain in the resurrected bodies that were damned from progressing, but that we have the opportunity to progress by putting those resurrections off and going on the new earth to go through the experiences needed that we may gain a higher resur resurrection. But, but God told me there was more to it, and I don't fully understand what that means, but I do think that there is a place for Joseph Smith to return upon the face of the earth. Now, I don't proclaim to be. I am a literal descendant of King David, through my father's mother, who was um, Lucille Rezovitz, who is a Czechoslovakian East German Jew. And I'm also a descendant of Charlemagne through my mother's side, through the kings of Scotland and England. And uh, those lines go back to Ephraim. So I'm partly of the house of Judah and partly of the house of Ephraim. So anyway, uh, like I said, we'll come back on um, to do chapter 17, Joseph Smith and some thought-provoking possibilities. Um, real quick, so I am uh, recording these videos to go up onto YouTube and possibly TikTok but if you want to listen to the full uncut version, you can go listen to my podcasts um, on iTunes at Zion's Redemption Radio Network and blogtalkradio.com. It's fundamentally Mormon. So Zion's Redemption Radio Network and Fundamentally Mormon, which is a part of Zion's Redemption Radio Network. So these are my podcasts and these are in full format. Uh, but you can watch them on the YouTube videos at youtube.com forward slash user forward slash God is my compass. And then my TikTok, you can find me at Red Pill Mormon. That's Red Pill Mormon on TikTok. 
and uh, these are the social media accounts that I'm using to spread or sprinkle the nations of the earth with the witness that I have of the Father and the Son and also the revelations that they have shown me and taught me personally and uh, where I expound upon the teachings of the Prophet Joseph Smith and others who were taught by him. So anyway, thank you for listening. Take care, everyone. God bless. And goodbye.